Let's now turn to security matters. The proliferation of small arms and light weapons in northwestern Nigeria has reached alarming levels, contributing largely to a resurgence of banditry. It's estimated that millions of illegal weapons have been held by unlicensed users in the region due to the illegal trans-border arms trade. TVC News correspondent Abdelatif Yusuf reports. Banditry, senseless killings and kidnapping for ransom are still on the rise in parts of northwestern region despite the recent onslaught by the armed forces. It is mainly attributed to the influx of arms. State governments, civil society and non-governmental organizations are working to address this problem squarely to promote peace and harmony. These weapons are largely responsible for many deaths, violent crimes and armed conflicts in African countries, including Nigeria. Parts of the country where the influx of small and light arms are prevalent can be identified as they are where, where insecurity, organized crimes are clearly on the rise. In the Northwest, daily killings, attacks on soft targets and kidnapping are slowly becoming order of the day in some states. It is almost two years now since the federal government of Nigeria established the National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons to checkmate the influx of illegal weapons into the country. The team is here in Kasana to meet key stakeholders to discuss more areas of collaboration to address challenges. Two things, drugs, small arms and light weapons. Once we can cover the dismanence of drugs, and then the circulation of small arms and large weapons, I think uh, we will have a better society. You are also aware that a lot of uh, 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 small arms and large weapons are being circulated, not even in Nigeria, but in the African sub-region. And globally, there was a survey almost about... Uh, Zona State Governor Diko Umarada expressed concern over the conflicts in his state and promised to assist the center in achieving its mandate. Illicit small arms and ammunition that are going around the Northwest and the country at large. And all we are doing is to strengthen or to uh, uh, request for the synergy. The relationship has already been existing. And uh, honestly speaking, I think we are all committed. The center recently seized and destroyed over 7,000 illegal arms. Abdul Latif Yusuf, TVC News, Kasana.